It was in about the 1920s or so where they were organizing not so much unions, but just groups in Duluth. They ran all the Finns out of Duluth. They couldn't work there. I mean, that's not that long ago. So a lot of them took the glories of going to Russia because Russia promised them so much. They were never heard from again. And then they find out that they came and took them in the middle of the night and they just they killed them and what did they call those? The tro Troikas? They were the little police, little, they weren't cars, but whatever they, they came, they called them the Troikas. And I learned about that because we had done a song in Autumn Voices of all about Troikas. Had no idea that that's what that song meant. And I told Tim, we can't be doing this. This is hurting a lot of people that their loved ones were taken by these people. So look up the Troika sometime and you'll be able to read about it. So if, you, if, if your relatives didn't want to talk about it for those reasons, what made you interested in learning more about your I family? was always wanting to know more, but when my son married in 95, about 99, I think, Laura started doing her genealogy, and then she started getting into ours. And she put us online in Ancestry.com, and one of our relatives, who in fact is coming back again this fall, Walter Hoglid, emailed her and said, I am thinking there could be a relationship here with your family and of all things, the name that stood out to him was Sonia, my sister Sonia, of all the people. And she was named after Sonia Haney, but I don't know if she was Swede or Norwegian. I think she was Swede, wasn't she? I don't know. But that's the connection that he made, and Laura emailed or called me right away, and she said, Rita, I think we've got a hit on your family, and I said, no, because my grandfather died when I was a year old. He died with TB. And we really knew nothing about that family. He had a brother here in Michigan. I had never met him. He has, of course, since died too, but now we're going to meet his step-grandchildren in September, the end of September. We're going to Mount Horeb to the National Troll Festival. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to meet them there because they live in Flint, Michigan. And we're going to find out all kinds of stuff about gents now. But that's how it got going. And so then she downloaded into my machine the family tree maker. And she said, here, this is what I've got. You finish it. So I've been working on this thing since about 99. And then I just kept getting more interested and more interested in it and finding out more things. And it's fun doing the class because... Some of these people didn't think they could ever find anybody, and we're hitting on mysteries they never dreamed. So I'll keep doing it. And thanks to Northland Foundation, we got a grant that we could put Ancestry.com on all of our computers in this school. It's about $1,200 a, a year for that. So I told Vicki, I said, you've got the program, I'll do the teaching. I'll, I'll just come in here whenever they want to do it. And sometimes we have four-hour classes, sometimes three-hour classes. But just whenever they want to come in, I'm here. And I don't, certainly don't have all the answers, never will. But boy, are they having fun. Thank you, Lynn.